and welcome to the part 22 of the Node Editor tutorial series. My name is Pavel Kropala from BlenderFreak.com and in this part we are going to start to add the copy, cut and paste into the menu and we will block out the code for the scene clipboard itself. So let's start coding. Okay, so since we are going to implement uh, the edit menu operations cut, copy and paste. Let's briefly talk about the clipboard functionality itself. So in Qt5 we can attach we can attach to a signal by using Q application dot instance dot clipboard dot data changed and we can connect a new method which we will define. So self on clipboard changed and let's quickly define this method and we can say that clip is equal to q application dot instance dot clipboard and we can print clipboard changed and the way how we are going to access the content of the clipboard is just by calling clip dot text. So let's try it out. Okay, it doesn't work because because I made a mistake and it's gonna be here data changed like this. And now when I select some text and press Ctrl C, you can see clipboard changed to full and clipboard change to O. So this one works and basically you can set up the set the cl clipboard content by using clip.setText and you can put any content here. So basically this is what we are going to use when uh, we will press Ctrl C with few nodes or edges selected but we won't be using this approach here we will call these functions directly. Okay, so let's briefly talk about what we are going to store inside of, the, of our clipboard when we press Ctrl C. We can basically use the serialization and deserialization, but there are a few things we need to change. First off, I wanna fix a bug which is inside here, inside of our code. So if I open a graph and I save it again, you can see our graph.json.txt changed and if you have a look here you can see that this line changed so the ID has changed and therefore we are going to the we will go to the node scene deserialize method and as you can see we usually do uh, when we do deserialization in uh, node we are storing the self id but we forgot to do that the same thing inside of the scene so basically on this line we will put self id data and i will test it again or maybe let's commit this one so this realization bug fix so let's start it again. I will open the file, graph.json, I'm gonna save it. And you can see nothing changed inside of this file, which is awesome. But let's talk quickly about what we are going to do when we press Ctrl C if these two nodes and two edges are selected. Basically, we can use the serialized data and store them into the clipboard. Except, we do not want to store this edge, which is connecting to nothing in our case, or will be connecting to nothing if we paste the content again here. But if we serialize these two nodes and this edge, they will got some ID, and as you can remember, our ID is being preserved so we need to somehow figure out or change the behavior that when we 
deserialize the data from the clipboard we are going to basically say something like restore ID will be false. So we can extend our deserialize function and say if the restore ID is true then we are going to set the ID from the data we are passing in. So if restore ID and we will pass this restore ID inside of the node and edge to and we can say by default that this is going to be true so our current code will remain untouched by this change so by default when we are deserializing the node we are going to say that the restore ID is going to be true and here inside of the code we can just check again if restore underscore ID is being set then replace the ID the current ID from the data otherwise we do not want to do that the same will go into the sockets so basically here we are going to pass restore ID and also here and we again need to change the socket by default this is gonna be true and here will be the condition if restore underscore ID then set the current instance which we actually creating ID to the data ID which we, which we load, up, load up from the file Okay, so this would be the node with the sockets and we can go I believe to the edge which is the last one we left out and here is going to be the same thing so restore underscore ID equals to true and if restore ID is being set then load up the ID from the data otherwise keep it as a new instance so in this way basically we can use the loading method as we are used to and we are going to restore the IDs always but if we copy paste something into the clipboard and pass paste it again into the scene we can easily use the deserialize function and say that we do not want to restore the IDs from the data we stored into the clipboard so therefore the new the newly created instances are going to have each own separate or different IDs so this is the necessary change we need to do if we want to use the serialize and deserialize functions with the clipboard and we can basically go here to the node editor window itself and I will copy these two lines and let's change this one to cut which is gonna be control x cut to clipboard on edit cut copy paste paste from and copy to so this is gonna be copy control C control V and let's add these functions so define on edit paste print paste
copy and cut and we wanna keep these methods as simple as possible so let's think about where we wanna store the logic for serialization and deserialization to the clipboard and we basically I will move the paste down and I will start with let's say the cut so I will reorder it like this and here basically we wanna check out what's actually selected right now and we wanna serialize this to the data so we can say data equals to something like self central widget and we will access the scene and if we look inside of the scene there is serialize and deserialize methods already but maybe the logic will be a little bit extended we are already using the history the scene history object so let's create a new one and call that self dot clipboard and that's gonna be scene clipboard and we are going to pass the reference to the scene and let's create a new file node scene underscore clipboard class this one define the constructor pass in the reference to the scene and say self scene equals to scene let's just quickly save that and go back to the node scene from node underscore scene underscore clipboard import scene clipboard so this one should be okay let's go up to the window and say scene clipboard dot and when we are cutting we wanna serialize select it and maybe we can pass parameter called delete and say true so that means we need to go to the clipboard itself create a new method with parameter delete by default that's gonna be false and this is going to return order dictionary I believe so let's put an empty dictionary there for now what are we going to do next is we are going to convert this data to string so string data equals to json dot dumps and we can pass the data and indent will be for middle node json so let's go to the up of the file import json okay this one is correct so now we should have a string serialization done and we can say q application dot instance dot clipboard dot set text and pass in the string data the copy operation will be exactly the same except we are going to say that the delete is gonna be false because we don't want to delete anything and the paste operation we will get raw data so we can basically read instance q application instance dot clipboard dot text so this way we will read the text itself then we are going to loads uh, json dot loads the raw data so data equals to json dot load s raw data but inside of this string 
could be something else than our data. So we will use try catch or try except. And if there was an exception, usually it will be something like value error. And we can type S E. And if an error happens, we can print pasting of not valid JSON data and we can print out the message itself too and we are going to return if this not doesn't work then we can basically check if the JSON data are at least somehow correct so probably in our case there should always be something like a key called notes so we can check if notes is not in data then we are going to print json does not contain any notes and we are going to return again so if the data is correct we can say self dot central widget and access the scene and its clipboard and we can call something like d serialize from clipboard and we can paste the data so let's add this function define self data and we can print the serializing from clipboard data is data okay and when I press play when I press ctrl C and ctrl V pasting of org not valid data, so let's pick that pasting of not valid data. If I press Ctrl C on this one, JSON does not contain any nodes. So basically, we can try to copy all of the file here and let's try paste and you can see we are working so this is basically the bone structure of the scene clipboard and in the next part we are going to finish these two functions so our copy paste logic will work thank you for watching and see you at the next part